Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on the floor. So after almost a week of removing the plywood and the rubber on top of the plywood and the seat railing, which was really hard to remove, uh, we finally got to the metal and we discovered that in some areas right here, as you can see, there's a lot of rust. But the majority of the bus floor is pretty uh, rust free, just a little bit of surface frost, so there's nothing to worry about. But right here in the front, is where most of the rust is. To sand this, we got this grinder. So let's get to work and let's get rid of this rust. I was just grinding this and uh, sanding this for about, about a minute maybe. And I was able to get all that out. So this is looking good. And you can see the difference between the rusted area and the area that I just sanded. It's a pretty big difference, so I'm pretty happy that it's not terribly bad and it comes out easily. Originally, I wasn't thinking about removing the flooring in the driver's side, but after seeing the rust around this area right here, it makes me kind of want to do it. I think it's going to be a little complicated getting all this thing out, but we want to do a good job, so if we already went this far, might as well do this. So I've been working so far with this trail, just a regular... Um, power drill and it's not an impact drill so one tip if you're doing the same uh, one of these will make your life so much easier this is an impact driver and it makes it so much easier to take the screws out especially because they're very old and uh, they just get stuck in there uh, there's gonna be some that maybe even with this one I won't be able to, to get them out but I already did a couple of tests and this thing is making my, it's making my life so much easier. So I'm done. I was able to get the plywood out. The rust isn't that bad, so that's a good sign. It took me about a couple of hours to get the, the plywood out. It was tricky in some areas because this post was going through a hole on the plywood. I had to cut it with the grinder. It's not the right tool to do it, but it worked for this application. And also cutting around this heated heater system right here. It was a little difficult, but now it's done. Now I'm ready to start grinding the floor so that I can get it ready for the rust treatment and start painting it. All 
right, as we're getting this floor ready to be painted, we also want to paint the side panels right here. And before that, we need to get them ready. So there's some caulking underneath here that I'm going to remove with this Sacto knife. As you can see, it comes out easy. After I'm done with that, I have this grinder with a sander right here uh, that I'm going to sand these edges right here, this one right here. And then with this 80 sandpaper, I will get to the two areas that I will be able to get to with this thing to make sure that it's smooth and ready to be painted. So for that, we've got the hose outside to help bring water in, and the cleaner that we're going to use is this simple, I think it's called Simply, Simple Green. Um, it's an all-purpose cleaner and a degreaser. So we're going to use that on the floor, um, with a scrub brush, and of course the gloves to be safe, um, to then get the floor prepared for the rust dissolver. We're going to use rust only on rust dissolver, it's a gel formula. Um, so we're going to use that to get all the final bits of rust off that we couldn't get with the grinder. So after that, we'll get it all nice and clean again and uh, dry and prep for painting. So we're going to use um, the Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. It's a gel. Um, it's not good to get it on your skin and nor eyes and it's not really good to breathe in the fumes so I'm just going to be safe and do all this. So what we're going to do is apply it um, on the areas with rust. Make sure it has a really good coating and then we're going to leave it for 30 minutes. We have to come back and go over it again for any spots that start to dry out. It shouldn't be able to dry out. So after this sits We'll come back in 30 minutes and wipe it off and see how well it did. It's going to be a good arm exercise. Uh. Alright, so we were able to remove a lot of the rust using this rust dissolver made by Rust Tolly. And we thought that we had the floor ready to be painted with, uh, with this rust oil primer. The problem is that when we read the instructions on the back, there's a specific instructions about not using these on galvanized floor. And what happened, it turns out that our floor is galvanized. So we have to do a lot more research and we were lucky to find a wealth of information out there from these schooly blogs and YouTube videos. And we found uh, a product that hopefully will work great for us. Um. So what we found out is we need to do an extra step that converts the metal, or converts the rust on the floor uh, that still remains to iron phosphate. Um, so we found there are a lot of rust converters out there that do that, but the one that we uh, we were specifically concerned about, well, the fact that parts of the floor are rusted. So we want to convert those areas to iron phosphate. But what about the parts of the floor that aren't rusted and it's galvanized steel? So the, when we did all our research and we looked at all these different rust converters, the only one that specifically addressed that question for us was OSPO. Um, they talked about how on galvanized steel surfaces, if you apply this, it's going to etch the metal and prep it for priming. So that was a big piece for us. So we'll be able to put this across the whole floor. The sections that are rusted are going to be converted to iron phosphate. And then the sections that aren't are going to be etched so that the whole floor is ready for Prime. And then after that, you know. So, it's luck. Hopefully, we don't run into any other surprises. This has been a, <laughs> an amazing learning curve. Yeah. So, we learned a lot, and this is going to be our home for two years, uh, probably a lot longer than that. So, we, have, we want to make sure that we do the best job possible. 
because once we start putting things on this floor, there's no going back. We decided to apply this uh, with, a, with a brush because we want to make sure that it will penetrate this sim. We, we could have done it with a roller, but we just want to make sure that it gets to all the areas that it needs to get to. 